sometimes will receive a lot of messages and you're trying to take every message at face value. You don't have to. We just want to gently sift through what is actually important <laughs> and what we can just move to the side. So you just simply
your responsibility to have the world 
Thank you. 
Selves and validate information from our highest. Intent. 
this in the name of I am Ashe. 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 Change is right around the corner and we're not ready. 
trust yourself, trust in the process, trust that you're able to do whatever it is that you need to do to be successful at life. Trust it. Trust in yourself. Trust in your hopes. Trust in your dreams. Trust in the things that make you smile and just bring you great stuff, you know? Just trust.
you know, um, earlier in my training, uh, a lot of what I would perceive now in a very, like, you know, in a, in a very light way, I used to take in a very heavy way, like, when you have aura, you have, uh, aura things happening, like, you feel a heaviness on your aura, or just, you feel like it's stagnation or, you know, energy stuff, I used to perceive it as, you know, a lower vibrational attachments, and you have to cut cords, and you have to remove that, um, now, the more that I learn just from my individual life, working with clients, and from teaching, I start to realize that the universe is not a positive or a negative thing, it's not like a, you know, the way that we see things as homo sapiens, you know, like, we, like, we, it's not like that, it's, it's well beyond what we could ever truly perceive, you know, um, but really what it is, is that, like, we go into a new experience, and we just get a lot of different energies thrown at us, and those energies are kind of stuck until we go in, and we move them, and we shift them out, so combing the aura is just one way we can do that, and like I explained before in um, the Reiki symbols, what I'm doing is I'm amplifying your ability to do it for yourself. So as you're watching this and as you are breathing this in, within your own energetic abilities, you are combing your aura. And when you see me do it, it's almost like you begin to mirror it for yourself. And so what I'm trying to do when we're in this experience together is to remove any distractions and allow you to focus on that. And it is just a form of self-care. You know, energetic self-care. When I tell people what I do, I say I'm in esoteric wellness. <laughs> because energy is really the building blocks of anything we do. Anything we do. Whatever changes we want to make, the energy has to be right. Because you know, if you want to do something in your life and the energy is not right, you can make movement forward, but you will never be at peace. And there's a difference of not being at peace and having a challenge. A challenge is okay. You know, we just figure out how to get to the other side. But not being at peace is that, you know, there are some times that are not, you know, they're not challenging, but it still feels challenging. So that's why it is super duper duper important to get your energy right. Okay, get that energy right, babies. Um, so that you can build a physical foundation, emotional, energetic foundation on top of everything else. Um, I'm going to take this moment to kind of explain to you the elements, okay? We have a fire, earth, air, and water, okay? And so, as we go up, um, let's say like the signs like Aries all the way to Pisces, as we go up, the energy sh shifts. So, Aries energy is the pure spark of a flame. Taurus energy is that ability to hold steady. So let's say the flame is already lit, but it's ability to hold steady, okay? Gemini energy is the air that feeds the, the flame. You know, if you don't have air, the flame will die. And Cancer energy is the water that can come and extinguish the flame, okay? And extinguishing the flame isn't a bad thing. It, it represents that beautiful balance we have to have between taking motion, doing things, and understanding how to soothe ourselves and self-care and things like that. And then when you go up in the signs, they just shift a little bit more and more. Um, I'll, exp I'll, I'll tell you what it is because you might feel like, don't skip my signs. <laughs> Leo energy is then that energy to be able to carry the torch, okay? Carry the torch and follow me. And Virgo uh, energy is that ability to know the fine details. This is the path we're going to take, you know, out of all the paths. This is the path we're going to take. So Leo's carrying the torch. Virgo's saying this is the path we're going to take, okay? Libra energy is that energy to be able to keep everyone together. Everything cohesive, okay? If you don't have good interpersonal skills, I mean, that's what it doesn't go okay. 
troubleshooting, like any conflict analysis um, and resolution. Um, you know, Libra can take on that quality too. Uh, but what Scorpio does is Scorpio will take the person in the lowest, deepest, most hurt state and say, how can we transform this and bring it to light? Whereas Libra is like, let's just, we're a little bit off as a group. Let's bring us together. You know, Scorpio will go and dig in you see how this is working? Now we're going to continue to go on with this analogy. We're going to take it now to Sagittarius. Sagittarius says, hey, we're going we're gonna to go all the way over there to a place that we can't even see. That's where we should go. That's our destination. A place we can't even see. And then Capricorn says, okay, well, I'm going to build the infrastructure to get us there because we're going to need food. We're going to need shelter. We're going to need medical equipment. We're going to need certain structures and rules in place so that this can work well. So all we have to do is just focus on getting there. We're going to put this together. Aquarius energy says it keeps a Capricorn together. A Capricorn and Aquarius, they work really well together. Aquarius energy says, okay, Capricorn, you did really well, but this is how we can make it better. This is how we can make it better. This is how we can make it better. And then we get all the way to Pisces energy, which is energy itself, pure energy itself. It goes to the bottom. So what I was just talking about, like the foundation for everything is your energy. That is what Pisces is. It is going and it's, it's, it's deeper than emotion. You know, we think of water signs and we might just think emotion. It's not that. It is the essence of the universe as a whole and understanding that. And when you're able to understand that energy, you're able to utilize any situation that comes your way. When things are going well, when things are stagnant, when things are challenged, that is what the Piscean energy is teaching us and it gives to us. And it doesn't matter what your sign is or how your chart is placed, you can still understand these different principles um, within your everyday life and they all are equally important. You cannot do one without the other. That's why they say that, you know, Pisces energy is all the energy within one because you can't do any of these things without that. But without Aries or without Leo or without Scorpio, it would be incomplete. So I'm telling you all of these things in order to explain to you why it is so important to have a strong energetic foundation before you do anything. And that means taking the time to heal yourself, to find out who you are, to find out what makes you happy. You know, it just depends on who you are. I work with psychosomatic um, uh, conditions and situations, meaning, you know, um, how emotional things, a deep emotional trauma and how it, it becomes physical uh, in the physical body. And what I noticed is that each person needs something different. But when we start to dial it back, the process of finding what you need is all the same. It's you have to take some time. You create space for yourself and then you say, well, what do I need? So what it may come out on the outside is, well, I need more money. What well, is it that you need more money? There's nothing wrong with more money, by the way. But is it that you need more money or do you want to feel secure? Okay. So we work from that. How can you feel secure in this moment so that as you are going to get money, as you're going to attain money, you don't come up against the same roadblocks that you are re-experiencing the trauma that you've always had um, previously for whatever reason. Uh, maybe you want more money because you want to be more valuable to other people. See, there's a different different reasons for why people want things. Okay, so you want validation, you want social proof, public validation. Is it because you did not receive validation, you did not receive attention? So that is an opportunity in which you have to go and you have to say, hey, how can I give 
yourself okay because what you're doing is you are mirroring me as you are seeing internally you're mirroring me you see it and you're allowing yourself to cleanse it's kind of like when you see somebody take a couple of deep breaths and then you follow along with it or uh, if you ever watch people go to like spa days you just watch them get a massage and you start to feel more relaxed you know there are parts of you that are relaxing it may not necessarily be the deep tissue massage but there's parts of you that are like connecting to that experience but when we work um, as energy healing practitioners on an energetic level what we're doing is we're working with the energy so you can feel a strong um, response in someone's physical presence as well as you can feel a strong response outside of someone's physical presence during distance sessions over the years I've been so lucky to be both a practitioner and uh, a client of many different uh, modalities and what I noticed is I had an energy healing uh, practitioner I used to go to um, who was a shaman and when I experienced them in the physical uh, versus distance it was the same I remember when I first started it was it was, I didn't really know what was going on so I was fighting them and I knew I was fighting them because I had a very physical reaction to the times that I was I was there but once I started to understand how energy works and how to work with my own energy you know I just kind of went with the flow just enjoyed it let it you know let, let it happen I noticed that when I went to them physically versus when I experienced them on a distance level it felt exactly the same <laughs> so sometimes people want a physical session like for example physical Reiki session because they feel like it will be more intense and if you go to a practitioner who says hey I only want to do physical sessions then I think that that is the best way that you should um, experience that but I also think that if you want a spa experience go to the spa you know, working with Reiki and working with energy healing, you don't have to be physical. You can be in the physical. I've given, you know, great physical sessions, but you can also uh, be distance as well and receive a lot from that. But if you want a spa experience, like you want to be around someone physically, then go to the spa. <laughs> sweat the small stuff at all and knowing that you have more control over your 
it is what it is. So let's go ahead and get started. We start our session off with a prayer. It is not a religious prayer, it's just a prayer to root us in our individual healing experience and to bring us together as a community and as a collective. And because consent matters, to have your permission to say a prayer.
you're coming up against and when I'm talking about fear I don't mean that somebody is chasing you I just mean like the fear of pursuing what you want or the, the fear of liking what you want or the fear of putting yourself out there that kind of fear okay babies so what you're experiencing right now of what's coming up in your energy is completely normal it's completely cyclical here's the thing when a cycle returns to its beginning point it gives you an opportunity to act in a new in a better way now you are in a better position than where you were when it first went around but also a cycle isn't just a complete circle really when you turn it to the side it's a spiral because it's never really the same but very similar and as you see when it starts right here if you allow that spiral to move you will gradually move away from the situations or circumstances that you originally came from but yet the themes will still show up but just in different ways and you'll be better equipped to handle them as well so let's just take all this So this could be karmic as well. Things that you just have to let go from your early life, from previous lifetimes. You just have to let go. Relax and rest here. Relax and rest here. Okay. So let's go down now to um, the heart, the solar plexus, and the sacred. and the root. <laughs> 
yourself where you can just be balanced in your energy. Sometimes you don't know what you need when you're in transition to your next chapter and you also may attract people who don't know what they need and that can kind of just create this perpetual. And if you start to love and care for these people, then you want to stay connected with them so you might feel like you're betraying them once you figure out what you need and they still don't know what they want to do. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> don't worry about that. Get you some people or where you want to go or going in the direction you want to go or just take some time with yourself so just going to balance your energy right now Listening to Africa. 
yourself towards your eyes. Good. I want you to take a deep breath in, okay? Exhale as I give you this S curl. <laughs> inhale. Exhale. Final breath. Inhale. Exhale and release. Let go. 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 Release. 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 And let it go. Let it go. Let it go. How are you enjoying this experience, sweetness? I just want to check in with you. Make sure that you are still feeling nice. Surrender and let go of anything 
experience. 
there's no rush here. You don't want to be changing your mind and then step into something new and try to do everything at one time. Also, it may not feel great at all times. Sometimes it can be frustrating or overwhelming or things like that, but give yourself time. Things that will balance that out is the more time that you give yourself, the better you can get acclimated to whatever this new thing is, the better you can approach this new thing in an efficient way for yourself and to work through what you need to work through, the better you can step up to your calling and breathe in life into the experience, the better that you can show up for yourself, for the people in your life, for your goals and your gifts. Or you can calm your mind and just 